Hello everybody, my name is Ethan and welcome back to some more Great League content where today we're going to be in the Great League, not the Remix Cup, running a team of Deoxys, Defense Form, as well as Sableye and Alolan Ninetales with Charm in the back. This team is actually very, very good. It's probably the most meta team that I've ever made. I always specialize in making more like spicy teams, honestly. Um, but this is a very, very solid meta team. Now, I haven't been uploading recently just because, you know, the Baby Cup is just, was just kind of fucking boring, honestly. It had, um, like, it, it really had only, like, a couple of good picks, to be honest. Like, you had the Body Slammers and stuff like that. I don't really want to hop into it because it's super boring. Um, but, uh, we're back into Great League and I'm loving it. Um, we picked up a really... Neutral lead obviously um, with that Altaria since we don't have Rock Slide and we're instead running Thunderbolt. I like the Thunderbolt just because it gives coverage against, uh, it gives really good coverage uh, against Azumarill because um, it does about 50% of Azumarill's health um, as well as it does cover things like Jellicent, the one you're seeing right now. Now, we had a very bad secondary matchup along the Ninetales into Stunfisk Galarian. Obviously, so we swap our Sableye into a Jellicent, which is really good for us. Now, I thought it was a bit quick. Uh, I thought that it might have might have been the Bubble Beam, and he threw the Bubble Beam, which actually really hurt him in the end because he debuffed my Shadow Claws, making me able to farm a little bit extra. Um, and so we're going to be able to throw this foul play here. Oh, no, never mind. We're going to switch into the Alolan Ninetales. I think my uh, process there, or how my brain was processing, was that maybe he was really close to the rock side and I didn't want to lose, you know, CMP tie. I'm pretty sure Sableye still wins CMP tie, but just in case, we're going to swap, swap in to Alola Ninetales, do the safe route, uh, and win that game. Now for the second game, we're going to be going into a Skarmory. Now this is where Thunderbolt also does really well. And obviously Rock Slide is still going to do uh, neutral damage. Um, and this is why you don't um, only tap on the moves because they will catch with the Meganium. Now unfortunately we do have Charm along the Ninetales. We need Charm though because one of the biggest holes in our team is Dark Types. Obviously Dark Types do... Uh, pretty good against Deoxys. I mean, it does have counter, which does a uh, super effective back, but, you know, it's still a big issue. Uh, Sableye can also do okay with it with return, but still, you like to have Charm alone with Nine Tails. Now, I can survive this, and I was hoping to be able to sneak through one more time, but he's going to be able to farm us down. We're going to bring back in the Deoxys. He's going to bring back in his Skarmory, which is an interesting pick there. We get a counter through. He's going to throw the sky attack. Now, he knows that we have Thunderbolt. Now, you can see me, instead of clicking right away, I'm going to do one extra counter so he can't, like, count my moves. Um, and then I'm going to catch the sky attack here onto my Sableye. A really good move by me. He's going to be bringing in the Shiftry. Um, and if you're counting the bullet seeds, he throws six bullet seeds before even trying to throw anything. We go to the return right away. And that's going to KO the Shiftry. Return is such a powerful move. And win us the game. Now game three, we're going to get a great lead into a Ferrothor. And he's going to swip, swap into Drift Blim. Um, which our Sableye is going to do very well against. I do a little bit of a mistake here. I do shield the Icy Wind. I was not counting. Now I'm counting. I know he has thrown one Hex. And it takes four hexes to get to Icy Wind, five to get to the Shadow Ball. Um, it's good to know that it's five to get to the Shadow Ball um, for both the Drift Blim matchup as well as the Jellicent matchup. It's four to the Bubble Beam, four to the Icy Wind, five to the Shadow Ball for each of them. Um, so that's just one of the good things to note. Now, he does snake through a Bullet Seed there, which is kind of bad for me. Um, it's going to allow him to go a lot more farm. Um, but he does make a mistake here, in my opinion. Um, he's not, I would have been able to get to the uh, foul play there. Um, but it was a double debuffed foul play. 
Um, I had gotten Icy Winded twice. So maybe tank that and come out of the matchup with a lot more energy than just about a power whip uh, of energy. Now we're going to be throwing the Thunderbolt because it's going to be resisted by the Ferrothorn. Um, and so we're going to do a nice little solid chunk of damage there to the uh, Hypno here. So we're going to be coming in and getting some charms through on this Hypno. Now he's going to be throwing the Thunder Punch, which means I know I'm pretty solid um, to tank the second one. If it was a Fire Punch, it would have been a little bit more shaky there. Um, now we're going to be able to go for the Weather Ball Ice. Now this is going to do neutral damage because of Ferrothorn's Grass Typing. He's going to shield knowing that. He's going to get three Bullet Seeds off, but we're going to make it to the Weather Ball Ice. And we're going to be able to take out this Ferrothorn. Oh, never mind. We're going to swap into Deoxys very quickly and uh, go for the quick counter to uh, finish that third match off of the set. Now this team is really, really good just because um, it has two of the best, like, I like to, I like to say they're just like the best all around type attackers in the game. And those being Defense Form Deoxys and Sableye, they just have so much coverage um, that, you know, it's hard to not really think this team is good without them. Obviously, I have talked about how their one weakness is really dark types. Um, they can both struggle sometimes against dark types. Um, and that's why you cover that with the Alolan Ninetales. Now, this Vigoroth is not really making the best of choices in life right now. Um, he's going to be shielding the second charge move, putting me up two shields to one. I'm like, all right, you know what? You can have the Sableye. And the thing he's throwing the body slam, it doesn't even KO. Um... Yeah, Sableye has a really good matchup against uh, against Vigoroth. He's going to be going for the Body Slam here. And then he is going to be bringing in his Alone Nine Ninetales again. We're going to be going for the Psycho Boost. Chip away and then come into our Alone Nine Ninetales. We're going to get two charms through. And because of those two charms, we're going to be able to... You know, safely go for this Psy Shock here. Now, Alolan Marowak actually has one of the best matchups against our team um, once our Sableye is down. Obviously, our Sableye matches up very well against Alolan Marowak. Now, he makes a mistake here. He is going to, instead of uh, farming down, he's going to throw the Bone Club. And I am going to... Uh, Make a pretty interesting play here. I'm going to be shielding the Bone Club here. I know that the Alone Lynn Nine Tails in back does not have much energy uh, or enough even for a Weather Ball. We're going to be going for the Thunderbolt and then for the Psycho Boost. Now, this is very interesting. If I threw the Psycho Boost for first, I might have not been able to take out that Alone Lynn Nine Tails. So instead, we go for the Thunderbolt so we don't debuff us. And we actually able to win the match because of that heading into the last match here against an obstagoon what are the most interesting leads that can happen obviously we're doing double super effective with the counters but we sneak a counter through as well there which is really good for us but he's going to be doing super effective right back with his night slashes now the thing about obstagoon is unless he gets the boost we can win this matchup and when I say the boost, I mean the boost first, not the boost second, because he did just boost there. And uh, we still won it. Now he's going to be bringing in an Azumarill. And I'm going to just go for the Psy Shock. I didn't know exactly what. I knew I was close to death, though. Um, and I swap instantly into my Alolan Ninetales. Now, we're going to be met with another Galarian Stunfisk. We've seen this matchup before. It's not the greatest. He's going to Rock Slide us. We can survive one Rock Slide. He sneaks through a Mud Shot there. Really bad for us, but we're going to be going for the Weather Ball Ice to chunk a little bit of his health away. Um, he is now going to be throwing the Rock Slide again. And we have to go in with Sableye here. I don't think there's really any other choice besides Sableye. 
And here's the thing, even though we have two shields, I knew it was a rock slide. I knew it wasn't an earthquake. So I had to preserve those shields because of the healthy Azumarill in the back. The Azumarill is literally full HP. Um, and we need those shields to be able to block the ice beams that are going to be coming. Um, we're going to go instantly for the return. He's going to sneak through a bubble there, unfortunately. Um, return going to do super neutral damage. And we're going to go for the Thunderbolt uh, that we had stored on our defense form Deoxys. Going to be taking out a big chunk of his health, about 40%. But here's the thing. Because we did not shield that rock slide, we're able to use the shield now on this ice beam. And we're going to be able to outpace the Azumarill to the foul play. And even though it is resisted, the Azumarill is low enough that we're going to be able to take it out and win that match. Going 5-5 five and five in that set. Very excited about that. Um, we're going to get a Sableye as our reward, which is really awesome. Um, because it makes it so I can power up my Sableye just a little bit more. If you saw, my Sableye was at about 1460 CP. I've been using that Sableye since it was about 1350. Um, it is a lucky, and I'm working on best buddying it right now. I'm very excited to keep playing, and uh, thank you guys so much for watching.